What's up guys, welcome back to another VR chat world building tutorial. I hope you're all having a great day. Today we will be covering how to make avatar pedestals. So let's get this practice world booted up that we've been working on. Same one, nothing's changed. Okay, so first things first, let's uh, make another cube. I like this theme, we're cube people. Let's rename it to Avatar Pedestal. We can delete the child objects because we were using those for the seat and do not need them for this. We can also go ahead and remove these components. All right, now that we have our original, pretty much, blank cube, we will add VRC avatar pedestal. So within this component of this object, we have blueprint ID, which is the actual avatar ID. Um, if you don't know where to get the uh, blueprint ID, you would have it if you made an avatar or you can find it with a just by googling vr chat blue avatar blueprint ids you'll find public ids people post um so if you did make your own and want to use your own private one it would be i don't have any but it would be under your vr chat home avatars there would be your avatars with a blueprint id so let me grab a public one which i already have ready We are going to want to select change avatars on use. Yes, we do want to do that. And we want that to happen when you click on the avatar pedestal. Um, your world might have this in one word. Make sure you use your avatar pedestal. You can just drag and drop it there if you'd like. Just to be sure, that's what we want to do. Okay, so let's boot it up and see what this looks like. Okay, well it works, it does work, but it looks a little weird, so let's fix that. So the thing about these avatar pedestals is the display you saw takes the same height and width as our object. So. Let's move this down a bit. Go to our stretch tool. Find that sweet line there. And then the other one. All right, that should be should be a little better. Let's see how that looks. better. Let's make sure it works. I 
too short to click it. Is that what just happened? Hmm. Doesn't seem like we can interact with it. Let's find out why. Okay, looks like we forgot to add the udon script. So let's add our udon behavior. And we're going to add a udon behavior. So let's go to our prefabs. Our prefabs here. And then go to prefabs udon program sources. And we want this avatar pedal part program. I already have that, so let's go ahead and delete it. We're going to control D and drag and drop it to our other Udon scripts are, keeping everything we make in one place. So let's go back to our object. Just drag that in. Okay. Let's rebuild it, launch it, and see if now we can click and obtain the avatar on the pedestal. It looks like it is now clickable and it changed my avatar. All right. So that is how we make the pedestal. And all that goodness. What a lot of people will do at this point, if they're making an avatar world, is combine a couple of things we've already done. They'll take the mirrors and put use the modus walls. And they'll take a trigger button and assign that trigger, just like we have to the player and the mirror, to the pedestals to make them appear or disappear. And they'll do those in sections. This is so not everything has to load at once or render at once, and it just optimizes performance a little bit. What you do is ultimately up to you. There are plenty of worlds where you load in, and these are all loaded. You know, it makes it a little easier to find. Sometimes people hide the buttons to show the avatars, and it doesn't work out that well. It's really up to you and the individual world builder. But hopefully you followed these steps and got it to work. And as per YouTube creator content creator's obligations, I have to ask you to like and subscribe, you know, if, in case it worked. And if it didn't, let me know what's going on in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you and help you out. Thanks guys and have a great day.